Hey everybody and welcome. So here I wanted to show you guys this. This is the Ready for Fan Dock system that everybody are, is wondering how it works and all that good stuff. Well, first thing first, I'll talk about this. This is a weighed kind of base. I believe it's probably got a lead weight inside of it because it's pretty hefty. It's pretty heavy. Now this is just a little plastic tip that uh, snaps on. I believe you can take this off after it snaps. Let me try and do this. It's a little hard. There we go. It has these three clips here and I believe they only go in one way. I don't think they actually go in like any other way. Yeah, they don't go in any other way. There we go. So it just snaps on, and then this has a uh, magnet inside of it, I believe. Either that or it's on this side. And then the other side is obviously a steel piece, so it's magnetized. Um, this can go up and down. It takes a little bit of an effort to kind of go up and down, but it can go up and down. That's pretty nice. So it can go about, I would say, not 100% sure on the degrees, but that's pretty nice. It can go pretty up or down like that. Put this back on. And it holds in place nice. Put that a little bit up. And then this is the actual base of the fan system. Uh, the fan, as you can see, is very tiny. So that's what makes the kind of sound that everybody hears that some uh, reviewers complain that it's, it's a little loud. But, I mean, come on. That is like the smallest, dinkiest fan ever. And you have to have that at high RPMs, too. Now, another thing is, a lot of people wonder, well, can I have my case on? No. Period. No. Why? This is why. It needs to blow onto the phone. Because with a the case, the thermal cooling system doesn't work because it's not cooling down the actual phone, it's cooling down the case. And that doesn't work. So you need to have the case off on all phones. No matter what they are, how they are, all phones have to have the case removed. So that's a minus for a lot of people that want their cases on. You have to have it off for the thermal cooling to work. And it actually works pretty well when you do this. So I'm going to undo the latch here and take my phone off and show you a little bit more deeper. So this is the channeling for the cooling. It's actually slanted. So you have it uh, down a bit more on here. And it blows from here and blows the air up and out like that. So it's actually pretty efficient. Um, this piece also moves up and down so if you have a bigger phone or a thicker phone they'll move up and then if you have a thinner phone it'll move down when you are mounting this um, just another thing before I get in that this does go that way and then to unlatch it you push the button right here and it goes like that when you are mounting this though especially with your phone. You want that air channel to work efficiently. So it uses a rubber kind of texture here on the phone mount area. So when you do put your phone on, don't put, don't just put it on nilly willy and think that, okay, yeah, uh, I'm good. Because you see how that gap works? It won't blow correctly on the phone. I can get this on the camera because it's up like this. You want to push the phone down, so it pushes the USB port down, and then you want to make sure you have it down all the way, and then when you clip it with the side clips, so you basically put your finger on top of the screen, push it down, and then clip it and tighten these fairly tight, and there you go. 
So you want that no air gap on side of it. So that way the airflow actually channels out just from the top and blows onto the CPU part, which is around here by the camera area. And there you go. Now there is a con to this. A lot of people are gonna find that it's quite annoying. There's no space area for your headphone jack, if a phone has that, and it's probably gonna distort the audio from the speaker because it kind of covers that area up. But what is cool is that it doesn't distort that much. I wouldn't think really too bad from uh, most point of view because uh, this actually doesn't sit flush onto the bottom of the plate. As you can see here, there is a small gap. And you can't lower that, just FYI. I already tried to look around, nothing. So there is going to be that gap. So not that much distortion, I guess. But for those people that are probably worried about, yeah, it's going to destroy you a little bit. But what is cool about this is that this is not really an actual base. There's no dedicated system in this. It's just a sensor technology with a fan. What does that mean? It's basically, you have this work like a pass-through technology system. It's basically a USB-C to a extension USB-C. Boom. That's it. So there's no dedicated hardware. There's no other stuff. It's just a sensor technology that's built into the fan, and that's it. So it's a pass-through system. So if you want to use an actual dock cable system, whatever type of thing you're thinking of, you can do that. And right now I'm doing that with my uh, G100 cable that I got uh, that comes with a USB-C to HDMI that has a port on the HDMI and that allows pass-through charging. So I can plus put my charger plug into that plug and then run that power into my phone and keep that charged. Plus also power up the fan. And it works. Right now I'm also going to buy a uh, actual dock with ports and such and do the same thing to this so I can actually have a keyboard and mouse, a wired keyboard and mouse work instead of using Bluetooth. And then I'll do the other video next of talking about how uh, I mentioned about the kinks and whatnot and see if it has any issues with the wireless uh, mouse keyboard I have that use little dongles. So stay tuned for that video. But um, cool little dock. Quite expensive though, but I mean, heck, for ability to cool the phone, that's actually pretty decent. And for the amount of detail that they put into this, even though it is kind of plastic and it seems a bit flimsy, it's actually nice. I know it's a 60 buck thing, but having that ability to use your own kind of dock system and then the fan and also the base station compared to Samsung DeX, that's actually nice. Now Samsung DeX station and pad they are a little bit, yeah, a little bit better with the fan technology and whatnot. The fan is a lot more quieter on the Samsung DeX because it is a bigger fan. It's actually one with blades compared to the AK bladeless design that has the little fins that are sideways and it's a more flat fan versus the actual blade kinds. But, uh, neat. So I would say it's worth it if you definitely want to keep your phone cool and if you're a hardcore gamer that uses like super crazy app demanding system for your Edge uh, phones or your G100 phone, yeah this is definitely going to do. And just FYI, I know everybody's wondering, well why don't you just buy a uh, deck station and use that fan? Because that will keep my phone cool on the hard 
load, right? No. Sadly, Samsung DX Station and Pad do not work with Motorola. Nor does it work with um, LG, which I'm also going to test with this um, and see if that works. And I'll update the description down below. But Samsung is only dedicated for Samsung's phone. I don't know if Samsung's phone will actually work on this, but it's kind of pointless when you have a Samsung deck station, jazz like that. Plus, not to mention that Samsung is dedicated for their system only because they have Samsung phones locked to five applications up on the screen at a time. If you use standard plug-in or wireless communication uh, decks, or even for PC ability. <clears throat> so the only way to unlock that for more than 10 to 12, I mean 10 to 20 apps, is you need to have a DeX station or DeX pad, period. Which is kind of stupid. Like I said, hopefully it'll be unlocked later in the future, but yeah, it's really retarded. But uh, more Rolls phones, da da da, they don't have it locked. So that's cool. So you can have 10, 20, 30 maybe. I don't know. I'll have to do a test on that to see how many apps you can have on the freaking window. But holy cow. Nice unlockability. So with that, see you guys later. And peace out.